Hey guys, so today I'm here and I'm going to be doing pretty much my foundation routine and everything I do to get a flawless complexion. So as you can see right now, my skin is like doing something. I have a lot of blemishes, some pimples here, breaking out here. I've been eating horribly and my skin looks really bad. So I'm going to show you how I just cover all of this up with my foundation. So we're going to try to get this back to normal or as close to perfect as we can get it, right? The first thing I usually do, we want to make sure your face is like nice and moisturized. So I already put my moisturizer on. I use a little bit of my rose hip oil and I also use the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. I don't always prime. I'm not going to prime here because I really don't prime on a regular basis. It's just not like a necessity for me. But if you have a primer that you like to use, something for like... Um, for oil like a mattifying primer or a hydrating primer whatever you want to use definitely use that anyway when I spot conceal I like to use a shade in the concealer that's close to my foundation um, I just feel like it's easier at the end to blend everything when you're using things that are pretty much the same color which is why I don't like to really color correct because I feel like it's really hard to blend out that red um, product sometimes and if you don't Make sure you do a good job blending. You're going to see it through the foundation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully blend this out. So when I blend it, I really don't push it around. I want it to stay where it is. I just want to kind of like um, push it into my skin. Because I don't want to remove any of the coverage. I just want it to blend in. So I mostly go around the edges. And I just pull it out. I just pull it out. One thing I'm going to do before I put my foundation on, I'm going to use my banana powder, my Ben Nye banana powder or whatever setting powder you have and I'm going to set the concealer. And I do this because if I don't, when I go to put the foundation on top of this, there's a chance that I can remove some of the product when I'm like blending my foundation in. So I don't want this to come off. I don't want it to move. I want it to keep this exactly where it is. So this is the foundation I'm going to be using. It's the Smashbox Studio Skin Finish um, 15 Hour Hydrating Wear Foundation. So I'm in the shade 4.0. This foundation is so nice. It just makes you look so pretty. It's oil free. Um, so it's medium to full buildable coverage. It's oil free, controls oil all day, sweat resistant, humidity resistant, it's color true. And it's a semi-matte finish, so it's not totally matte. Um, and yeah, I love this foundation. I bought it over the summer, and I, I really, really like it. Like, I'm happy with my purchase. So, um, this is, like, the one I always grab if I'm going out for, like, a special occasion or whatever. Or if I just want to look popping, you know? So, I really, I probably need, like, three pumps of this. Um, so, I just take that. I buy my foundation to match my body. My body is a little bit darker than the, my face. So, um, so it always looks a little darker for me when I first put it on. Just want to make sure my blending is A1. So I'm not really wiping, I'm kind of just like pressing it in. So again, I'm going to set my face, especially around my mouth because that part of my face always starts to tart. That part of my face always starts to crease first because I'm talking so much. So 
So I'm going to highlight um, pretty much underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Because I concealed underneath my eyes before I put the foundation on, I really don't need a lot more concealer. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit. I don't really contour my face a lot because my face is um, my face is very narrow. You probably see my face is real narrow, so I feel like when I do too much contour, it makes me look weird. So I really just focus on like these spots, and I don't do like a like a hard contour. For this, I like to use my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder, so I'm gonna use that just to bronze up my face. A lot of people like use a sponge or they dust off their loose powder. I, what I like to do is I'll use a, a pressed powder to kind of like buff away the loose powder in, um, in like a natural shade. So two things that I use, I'll either use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the shade Dark. So I'll either use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark or I will use this shade in my... Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Let me just pull it out to show you what shade it is. I don't remember the name. Let me see if I can get this out. Okay, so it's this one. This one in the kit. I just took it out. The name of this one is Nutmeg. So I'll either use the Nutmeg in the Contour Kit or I use my Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark to just kind of wipe away the loose powder from where I placed it. So for this this tutorial I'll use a nutmeg so I just take some onto like a loose powder brush and I just place it wherever I place my banana powder Alright guys, so this is my look. I'm all done with my makeup. I finished up off camera, but I pretty much showed you guys everything that I do for my foundation routine just to have a flawless base. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know if any of the tips that I suggested helps anybody. Please leave me a comment. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys at the next video. Thank you for watching as always. I appreciate your support and I love you guys so much. Thank you. Bye.